Hi, I'm Melinda Jean Stafford, and I'm a beekeeper. A well-lit smoker is key to the success of any beekeeper. Smoke serves as a tool to distract the bees from your activities within their hive. Smoke disables their ability to communicate with one another, making your life as a beekeeper a lot more pleasant. Today we're gonna learn how to start our smoker. So here in front of me, I have all of the tools that I need. I have my hive tool here. I have uh, strips of burlap that I've cut up. This is from an old coffee bean sack. Burlap works great. And then I have some wood chips and some uh, crumbled up newspaper. Now the reason I use crumbled up newspaper is because it lights very easily and burns very quickly. But then I have burlap and wood chips that burn a lot slower. Um, uh, that'll keep my hive smoker burning for longer. And you'll notice that the hive smoker here has uh, multiple, multiple components. We have our barrel here, which holds the fire, the rotating top that covers it. And then we have an air pump here that blows air into the barrel right there at the bottom. So the first step is we wanna get a little fire going. So I'm gonna take some crumbled up newspaper and a lighter. I like this lighter because it has a long neck. So I don't have to get my hand into the smoker to get the flame going. So I'm gonna go ahead and and let that burn up. It's really important in this step to not be wearing gloves. If you're wearing leather gloves, it's gonna be really hard to tell if your fingertips are starting to get too hot because the leather serves as that barrier. And really the goal here is to layer. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to the layer and give it some air to give it some oxygen. And that's a good looking smoke, but it won't last very long because it's just newspaper. So I need to get it up and flaming. And then I'm gonna add in some burlap, which will burn slower and longer. And I'm gonna keep giving it a little bit of air until I see that it has caught on fire. And I'll add a few wood chips in, which also burn longer and slower than the than the newspaper. This is a good looking smoke. And this is where a hive tool comes in really handy because then I don't have to stick my fingers down into that flame. Now you can use a lot of things in your smoker. You can put grass that works really well dried leaves things that are just sitting around that'll catch on fire anything that really burns nice and clean and that looks pretty good to me the goal is we want a fire that'll last long enough to uh, ensure that we can use it throughout our hive inspection now i can see here that there's smoke just bellowing out of and so that's a good sign. And the first thing I'm gonna do is walk over to my hive and give it a little bit of smoke. Now it's really important to walk up to your hive from the back or the side. So step one is puff some smoke right into the front of their hive. And smoke just like humans, um, it disorients us. It makes it harder to tell what's going on. And so I'm gonna let that sit there for a little bit. And if you notice that your smoker goes out during your hive inspection, you know you haven't done a very good job at creating a long, deep smoke. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice and I'm still not perfect at it, but I've learned what materials work. Again, I like burlap, wood chips, and newspaper. You might find other things that burn really well. And that's how to start your hive smoker. Just to review, there are three main goals when lighting a smoker. 
burn clean materials that will create a long lasting smoke, a mix of quick burning materials like newspaper, and some slow long burning materials like burlap work really well. Second, you wanna create a thick, white and cool to the touch smoke. And finally, create a smoke that lasts a long time. It may take some time to master, but you'll get the hang of it with some practice. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out more information and products and supplies at mydbsupply.com. Keep your bees buzzing, y'all.